Dzień dobry Państwu, 11 dzień maja, czwartek, witam z Ottawy. Idziemy na Marsz dla Życia tutaj w towarzystwie Staszka Baruły z, z Mississagi, Polaka, Kenijczyka i oczywiście Kanadyjczyka. Staszek, dlaczego zdecydowałeś się uczestniczyć w marszu? Bo warto, z różnych względów. Po pierwsze, po prostu chodzi o życie, a życie jest ważne, także... Co się dzieje w Kanadzie? Dlaczego w Kanadzie to jest akurat tak ważne? No tutaj życie nie ma takiej wartości, jakie powinno mieć, zwłaszcza życie ludzi nienarodzonych, więc trzeba walczyć o to, żeby to się zmieniło. euthanasia why why in canada it was such a beautiful country it is such a beautiful country but i think we stopped believing in god we left god aside and we forgot about i think his main creation that is men right and we protect now animals we protect now uh, but we forgot about men and i think that's the main thing that we we have to protect when did you come to this conclusion when you were younger is it because of your family upbringing um, because you know the culture here it's the culture of death why why you're different why you're here uh, I think it's a mix. Uh, I am blessed that God called me, but also my upbringing. I'm Catholic, my family is Catholic. I've been living in this country for 14 years, but I'm very blessed that uh, I'm surrounded by a Mexican, very devoted Catholic family. Did you come from Mexico here? Yes. Okay, God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Love it, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna be with this stuff. So. Sounds good. Have a good morning. Yeah. And we're all the hard with you. Yeah. Would you like a sign? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, may I ask you a question? I'm from the Polish YouTube channel in Mississauga. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wonder, why are you here? Why are you defending life in, in Canada? Well, um, well, because I think that everyone has human rights. It doesn't matter how young they are. Um, if, if I believe personally that life begins at conception. So I believe that as soon as a child is conceived that they have human rights and you wouldn't why, murder why your did, friend. Why did you come to this uh, believing? Sorry? Why did you come to that? To, to, to well, I guess it was partially how I was raised, but also just I looked at I looked at the scientific facts. I looked at what science told me, and I took from that, and I was I, I told myself I was like if if life is if they're cells, cells are living. If it's just a clump of cells, they're still alive and they still have a right to live, and they're developing into into what I am today. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't and be they here. Have different DNA, so we know now. Sorry? They have different D DNA, so we know now. In my opinion, it doesn't matter what their DNA is. I wouldn't kill one of my friends and I wouldn't kill a child, no matter what the circumstances were. What about euthanasia? Sorry? As a medical assisted uh, death. I don't agree with that either. I, I don't think that, that we should be, be controlling, controlling when people live and die. I think that that is up to God and that it, in the end it is up to God to, to guide who is going to die when. He has, he has all of our best interests at heart and I trust him completely. Well, I think Eva put it very well. Um, I just believe that life begins at conception, that every life has a value and that we don't have the right to take that away. Yeah, instead of, instead of pushing young women and older women, any women, to be getting abortions, I think that they should 
instead be out looking for other options. There should be counseling services. There should be um, organizations in place. And there are. It's just that they aren't well known yet. And I think that um, protests or rallies, I guess, like today are a fantastic opportunity for, for more light to be shed on that. Witam wszystkich, e, e, wszystkich zwolenników i e, gońca i całej redakcji i kolejny marsz dla życia i jesteśmy tutaj razem z bratem Grzegorzem Loską z Oblackiej Wspólnoty w Berys Bay i cieszymy się, że reprezentujemy e, tutaj e, a, parafię świętej Jadwigi, a także i, i oblatów, misjonarzy oblatów. Także pozdrawiamy serdecznie. Ojciec zawsze w sutannie? No ja w sutannie staram się chodzić, bo, bo jest to zawsze taki znak, e, klarowny znak dla, dla mnie samego i dla innych, że, że, e, że są też i księża, są biskupi, są zakonnicy, którzy, którzy są pro life, którzy popierają marsz dla życia. Jakby ojciec e, scharakteryzował to, co się dzisiaj w Kanadzie dzieje, bo chyba e, pomimo tych marszów, które mm -hmm. tu od e, dłuższego czasu tak, przychodzą na tak, służbę tak, parlamentarną, ta tak. sytuacja obrony życia ludzkiego się pogarsza. Ob obiektywnie w Kanadzie sprawy się, się mają się ku, ku, ku gorszemu, niestety, z aborcją, z eutanazją, a z, z innymi czynnikami, ideologiami, które się wkradają, wkradły w nasz kraj. Ale tym bardziej myślę, że jest tym ważniej, żeby, żeby nie tracić nadziei, wierzyć Pan Bóg jakoś nawet, nawet i z grzechu potrafi wyprowadzić dobro i tam gdzie, gdzie jest grzech, tam się też i rozlewa łaska, więc trzeba robić to co można i resztę mu zostawić. Ojciec liczy na to, że Kanada ma jeszcze szansę? Jasne, myślę, że ma szansę, że myślę, że ma szansę, Pan Bóg daje. Każdy dzień jest kolejnym dniem do nawrócenia, jest kolejna szansa do nawrócenia. Więc... Bardzo, bardzo dziękuję Proszę i dziękuję bardzo. za Ojca Służby, Ojca Pośrednia. Dziękuję, pozdrawiam wszystkich czytelników Gońca, szczęść Boże. Dziękuję. Piąty, siódmy, bo tak zacząłem jeździć, jak to... No Właśnie, tylko... Dlaczego zacząłeś jeździć? No jest obrona życia, no jest normalna rzecz, to jest, no diabeł nie śpi ani sekundy, kombinuje. I co się dzieje w tym no. kraju, że trzeba bronić życia? No, piękny kraj, jak przyjechałem w 76 roku, to była Kanada, a teraz jest kulturalny neomarksizm. No. I takich mamy, ale kiedyś partia konserwatywna to była konserwatywna, przeciw aborcji, przeciw temu zwariowanemu homoseksualizmowi, nie było jakichś gender 60 czy 70, 
a dzisiaj wszystko opanowali i w konserwatywnej partii wszędzie, wszędzie są. No ale to im trzeba przyznać, że są konsekwentni. To są dekady, dekady, dziesiątki lat ciężkiej pracy neomarksistów. To są dekady. No ale czy jest jakaś nadzieja? No nadzieja zawsze jest i musi być, bo bez, bez, bez nadziei to, 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 to by nic nie było. No, po, to, po to przyjeżdżamy. Jest masa ludzi, którzy są przeciwni temu. I musimy zbierać się. Takie marsze właśnie y, powodują, że no, y, jesteśmy razem, widzimy się. W y, grupie jest siła. Nas, y, szczególnie Polacy też tutaj, jednak my mamy te wartości, w nas są wyniesione z y, rodziny. Rodzina była tą podstawą wychowania, nie, rodzina. Bo, bo jest to właściwa rzecz, nie ma innego wytłumaczenia po prostu. Żyjemy w wszechświecie, który ma morale, ma, mamy napisane na sercu moralność jakąś i trzeba z tym stać po prostu. Z odstawy. tak. Co tam jest? A pan skąd? Ja z Otawy jestem. Ja z to dlaczego pan tu Ja tu zawsze jestem, co roku ja tu oczywiście. Jest tu za grupa Polaków, tak bardzo duża jest. Tutaj dzisiaj widziałem bardzo dużo Polaków, nie? I z Otawy, z Wysokagi, z Lampu i wszystko, nie? Pan długo jest tutaj w Kanadzie? Bardzo długo. Bardzo długo. Co się z tym krajem dzieje? No, no, no widać co się dzieje, to nie to co przyjechaliśmy, całkiem co innego, my mamy wartości europejskie, nie? No, musimy coś robić z tym właśnie, jak, jak wybory przyjdą, zmienić trochę. Nie? It's time. Welcome to the 26th National March for Life. All right, everyone. So we're going to begin with a good old-fashioned countdown to get this march going. So join we march here today for the 26th time. The 26th time. We are here to remind our government officials and all of Canada that we will not back down. We will not stop defending the lives of the pre-born and opposing the abhorrent, abhorrent practice of abortion. We applaud all of you who are here in person today in opposition to our government's pro-abortion policies and demand full legal protection for all human beings. Ici, en personne aujourd'hui, et du Québec, du Canada, et d'à travers le monde, à travers la télédiffusion de EWTN. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. Thank you, Steadfast Worship, for the beautifully singing our national anthem. My dear pro-lifers, Canada is founded upon principles that recognize the supremacy of God and the rule of law. Need we say more? Prime Minister Trudeau, Pierre Polyev, Jagmeet Singh, are you men of honor? All of you invoke the Charter of Rights often when rambling on about this right or that right. Are you man enough to bend a knee to the Almighty God and acknowledge Him as the supreme leader of our nation? Will you stand firm in your resolve to fight for the dignity of all human life in Canada? How about you and me? Are we resolved to do our part in bringing about a culture of life in Canada? Your presence here shows proof of your commitment and when we arrive home tonight or over the next several days that follow what then staying engaged in the battle for life is difficult 
but we must remember that this is God's battle. We are his soldiers. Victory is guaranteed. Our theme for the 2023 National March for Life is Stand Firm. Stand Firm is a call to be strong for those who are weak. We will defend the preborn, mothers in crisis pregnancies, those targeted due to disability, and the elderly in hospitals and care homes. We will not sit on the sidelines, but we will instead stand in a position to defend the vulnerable and the marginalized. Stand Firm is a promise not to cede one inch of ground. As the abortion debate catches like wildfire, pro-lifers will be tempted to moderate our, co our demands and to make our argument more palatable for public consumption, to make concessions, but instead we will not be swayed by popular opinion. We will hold tightly to principle. We will stand firm for the right to life of every human being from the moment of conception until natural death, without exception. Stand Firm is a rallying cry to pro-lifers everywhere to refuse to back down no matter what wickedness this way comes. We will link arms and encourage each other. We will not be intimidated or cowed. We will dig in our heels and brace for impact. Stand Firm is a reminder not to put on, to put on the armor of God, spiritually fortifying ourselves with truth, justice, and faith, not with worldly weapons. The violence of abortion and euthanasia will be met with the gospel of peace. We recognize that we fight not against abortionists and doctors who kill their patients, nor against death-pushing activists, nor godless politicians, but we lovingly fight for them, for their conversion. We fight for lives, we fight for souls. causes us to triumph. You can't lose what the stuff he used. Amen? Hey, so I know you're warming up, you're getting anxious, you want to get ready to march, but we got a few more people that need to speak, and boy, we got some heavy energy here, don't we? But I just want to tell you that I am so blessed. That's just an understatement of what it's like to be set free. To be set free from the people that you hear in the background, but this is not the people. We fight not against flesh and blood, right? This is a spiritual battle. It is not a political battle. It's not a social battle. This battle has been going on since the first murder when Cain slew Abel. Amen? Amen. We got a death spirit. What we're fighting is the ultimate anti-human spirit, and that is the devil. We're fighting the ultimate fetophobe, and that is Satan. But we're going to stand because Jesus Christ taught us and said that he has come to bring us life and to bring it more abundantly. You're part of that, you're part of that army. So I know what it's like to be beloved. You know, I know what that mindset's like out there. My body, my choice. Now I know we're working with an undereducated subset of your population, but they've got in a singular form. It's two bodies, isn't it? It's two bodies. The body of the preborn baby and the body of the mother. And the body of the baby is separate, and God is creating a beautiful, beautiful human being. Why does the devil go after innocent blood? It's because you are made in God's image. We remind Satan of God, and he hates it. But I want to tell you that when I was in the abortion cartel, in the abortion industry, I did it for just one thing. One thing is all about the money. Who's ever seen a free abortuary? Who's ever seen abortion missionaries? They don't exist, they do it for the money. That's why I did it, that's why it exists. And in my country, in the United States, they get hundreds of millions of taxpayers' money to continue this fight against innocence. I thank the Lord for its one day turning me from darkness to light, to letting me see. But you see, we win. We win. Don't go by what you see. 
Go by what you know. Go by what you know the word says that he always causes us to triumph. So when we march today, just remember, we march forward. Don't stand in one place. We're standing right now. But we're going to be walking ahead. We're going to continue to walk ahead into a promised land. A promised land where all life is respected. Just in the same way that the Lord declared to Israel that he'll give them homes that they have not built, vineyards that they have not planted. That we're going to have that same promised land and Jesus Christ is not going to settle until it's settled right here in heaven and on earth. Amen? Amen. So we're going to march. We're going to march for life. We're going to march for victory. And to God be the glory, O Canada. Amen. United States, the planet Earth for life. A pani są Scott Kolbego? Skolbego! O, właśnie. A czemu biegniemy? Ja nie wiem, ja byłam na początku, jak było 20 osób i, i rzeczywiście... 26 lat temu? No właśnie pewnie tak, no bo mogło być i 30 lat temu. Aha. Ale, to... Ale teraz co, z wnuczkiem? No z wnuczkiem, tu z córką, z wnuczkami i z mężem, ze wszyscy, cała rodzina. I cała grupa z polskiego kościoła. Od Kolbego czy z Kolbego? Od Kolbego z Misusagi. Co się w Kanadzie przez te wszystkie lata zmieniło? No to się zmieniło, że z, zupełnie chyba świadomość się zmienia. Zeszła na psy. Tak? Kanada no zeszła na psy, ale świadomość Kanada ludzi się o tyle zmieni zmieniła, że coraz więcej ludzi przychodzi na te marsze for life. To tak całą rodzinę. Tak. No to super. No i najmłodszy, trzylatka też chodzi. Już trzeci jego marszy do życia. Trzeci ma życie. Marcio, tak. Wystarczy w rodzeństwie. 16,20 przyszło. Super. To, no to właśnie, to tak wychowanie w rodzinie, czy pani nie, nie miała jakichś wątpliwości, że to jest życie poczęte, trzeba bronić, jak to jest? Nie miałam, choć lekarze byli innego zdania, ale ja stałam za życiem i urodziłam zdrowe, piękne dziecko. Jestem dumna z tego i jesteśmy szczęśliwi.
Where are you from, guys? Where are you from? We are from India. India. Yeah. India. Yeah. 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 Jesus, yeah. Jesus, 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 Jesus. So we are a community called Jesus Hill. Jesus Hill. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Very good, how are you? Thank you. place did not. A few weeks after the abortion, they called me into a meeting and they fired me. It turned out that my abortion made them uncomfortable about their own abortions. The abortion silenced your child. Don't let it silence the good inside of you. Don't let it close off your heart anymore to the people you love, the people that you could love but can't. There can only be healing when you bring it into the light. Do not aid and abet the violence with silence. Be silent no more. And I speak to all of you on this march, this quest, this love. Thank you. O, to dla mnie po raz pierwszy. I jestem bardzo szczęśliwa, że mogłam uczestniczyć przy pierwszym e, e, przepięknym marszu. Że mogliśmy się policzyć. Że mo nie mogliśmy się policzyć, bo jest bardzo dużo ludzi i, i, i naprawdę jest, jest wielkie wyznanie wiary. To nas, to nas cieszy i mamy, mamy cały czas mówić, jak Bóg jest dobry, miłuje nas i to jest nasza wiara, nadzieja, miłość. Zwłaszcza w tym miejscu, parlamentem. Tak, tak, właśnie tak. With a ruptured ectopic pregnancy. It's really the grace of God that I stand here to tell the story. I was bleeding internally for three days. Where or what year? It was prior to meeting...